regulations. These aren't even statutes of the land for the law of the land. So I think it's really important for you to know that what you have to protect. They have these funny little things here that something like Dell Shell wants you know, and I think that's talking to the government, not us. Which is really kind of a neat kind of law, isn't it? <laughs> I like that kind of law. Well, yes, yeah, but see, that's why we need to have a no one. Okay, so we're going to get started now. Next, we have Paul Hirsch. It is. It is. Yes. It has, it, uh, John just told me that to let people know it has the U.S. Constitution and their vision of independence as well. So, again, you know, I don't think that the Washington State Constitution has been in print form before, like this. So, I don't know if it's different like that. Yes. But it's, this out is, there, it's, on, yes. it's on the web. You know, yes. Oh, look okay. at it. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Yeah. Very, very strong constitution on the ground. Okay, and before we have um, Paul talk, we're, I'm going to have Cornell talk for just a moment. We wanted to share some things, some information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not too much of this. How many of you are familiar with, familiar with Sheriff? Boy, that reiteration, I'm having trouble. Are familiar with Sheriff Richard Mack? Yes. Okay, I'm on his board. And one of the things we're trying to do is get county sheriffs to what's called the County Sheriff Project. And if you go online and type in County Sheriff Project, you'll come up to a website. And what we're doing is we're trying to get 200 county sheriffs to a conference in Las Vegas at the end of this month, the 29th, 30th, and 31st of January. If your county sheriff wants to go, what we're asking is that the county, not the, not the government, but the county residents come up with $1,000, and that will fund it for them. It's room, board, and travel, so your county sheriff can go and not have any expense there's going to be classes taught, taught on one of the things that came up I heard earlier was one of the presenters mentioned that the, some of these federal agencies have guns. Our county sheriff, our county sheriff, and that's excellent, and you need to keep it, that's another story. But our county sheriff told the Sacketts when they gave their presentation at one of the, center, uh, one of the meetings we had, he said, in the future, if you, if federal regulators come on your property, you call me, and I will arrest them. Now, that sounds, to some people who don't understand the interface between federal and local and state law, that sounds almost rebellious. It's not. Sheriffs are statutorily empowered to interpose themselves between out of control federal agencies and private citizens. Most of them are afraid to do that for the very same reasons counties don't do some of the things they should do. They'll lose their grants. Our sheriff is not afraid to do that. And some of the training involves that, how county sheriffs can interpose themselves. It talks about, it talks about federal regulations and regulatory agencies and how those impact local. And there's going to be classes for two days at this, at this conference. So if anybody has any questions about it after today's over, just come up and talk with me or I'll leave my card and you can email me. And I'll put you in contact with Sheriff Richard Mack and you can get signed up. Get your county sheriff signed up. Get the Stevens County Sheriff signed up. What were the dates? Uh, 29th, 30th, and 31st of January. So, that's all. <laughs>